Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me. And if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes. I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging. And if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing and means so much to me. So I hope you'll help me out. Today, it's a rather large Louis Vuitton unboxing. I haven't done a massive haul in a really long time. I used to do, you know, this many items at a go often, um, and I've really paired it back this year, although a lot of people wouldn't see it that way because I still unbox a lot. Um, but these things are all, like, they're not little, they're certainly not, not expensive, but they all came in at different times, and I've just put them together to do, like, kind of like a haul. So yes, I'm sorry if you don't like hauls, but I really want to unbox all these things for you guys so you can see them in case you're interested in them. Um, and it was just easier to put them all together because they've all just kind of released recently. Um, I am coming off the back of my fabulous P9 Speedy unboxing. I am so excited about this bag. And if you missed the unboxing, I'll link it down below for you. Uh, and some of these items kind of came out with the same release and yeah, let's just open them up. Um, all right, let's, we'll start with the smallest and work our way to the biggest box. That doesn't necessarily mean the biggest thing. Um, but yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it that way. That'll work. All right. So the first box looks like this. Um, and if you've been around for a while, you probably know what's in this box. Um, and I will say Mr. Lux has a very big collection of these, but this one, this one is actually my second one. It's mine. And there is a reason for that, uh, which will become obvious in the coming weeks. <laughs> so it comes in this dust bag. And if we open it up, we have a pocket organizer in the color turquoise. So this is a color that is coming out with this um, Pharrell Williams release in the men's department. It's a beautiful, beautiful turquoise color and I love it. Um, it just looks like this on the inside. So this is my second pocket organizer. My, hu my husband has many, he's got a whole heap. Um, and I generally do his collection every year for Collectionmas. I'll link the last one, his last, his last Christmas's video down below so you can see what his um, collection looked like at that point. Uh, but this one is mine because I got, hang on, where is it? Uh, where are we here? So I got this one when it released in this fabulous, fabulous pink color. That's mine. And now I have the turquoise. So take what you will from this color and uh, see if you can deduce why I might have this color. All right, let's just put it there rather than trying to put it away. So that is the first thing I bought, this fabulous turquoise pocket organizer. I do like the pocket organizers, and the reason my husband likes them so much is because they are so compact and easy to throw in your bag, and they carry heaps of cards, um, and they are great to have. So that's the first thing. Oh, and I'll show you the – for anyone who's interested in it, I should really show you the product code in case you want to go get one yourself. So that's the product code for this. Uh, all right, let's move on to <laughs> things get stuck. Let's move on to the next piece. So the next piece comes in this box, slightly bigger box. We'll work our way through the sizes. Take the ribbon off. Let's just move some of these things out of the way. We're going to end up with a pile by the end of it. And oh, tissue paper. Hello. Don't often see a lot of tissue paper. That Louis Vuitton and it comes in this dust bag and we open it up this is one of my collections so there are a few things that I there are more than a few things I collect several lines this is one of the lines I collect and it is a cosmetic pouch so this is the light blue denim cosmetic pouch. So those of you who know me here know that I love the original Louis Vuitton denim collection from the early 2000s. I own a lot of those pieces and I'm getting very close to owning all of those vintage pieces. When the new dark denim released at the start of 2024, I bought 
a heap of those pieces. It was one of the bit, that was probably the last time I really did haul, a haul because I bought so many pieces from that. The light blue denim is now out. Um, and a few of you have asked me, am I going to buy a whole heap of pieces from the light blue denim? The light blue denim does not speak to me in the same way that the dark blue denim does. Um, the dark blue denim has those memories of that time period when Marc Jacobs bought out that dark blue, the original dark blue, the vintage dark blue. Um, and it, it just, I don't know, it, it gives me different feelings than the light blue denim. I did want the cosmetic pouch from the light blue denim, but so I think it's really pretty. Um, and I own a whole heap of cosmetic pouches. It is one of my collections. This does have the tag on it. And as I um, said in my last video about the speedy, um, these tags are really important for you guys to keep. So because you no longer have um, date codes in this, it's just chipped. Um, or I think just the bags are chipped. I don't know if they chip the SLGs. You used to get, sometimes the stickers would be stuck to the dust bags or they'd just be in them, uh, like on uh, this. But they're now moving to these instead. And realistically, these tags are going to be the way you prove that your item is real. It's got the QR code on it and it's also got the product code on it. So I suggest... If you are getting these, and my sales associate has said, he suggests keeping these as they are important. So that's why they're now on there, which I found really interesting. So that is the cosmetic pouch that I got. Uh, the inside, I think, is just... Oh, comes with a little thing for me. Uh, so the inside is the inside strangely enough so it's also light denim and it's just the inside of the denim and then it has one little pocket there and the little tag on the inside so as far as cosmetic pouches are concerned a fabric one is not smart as an actual cosmetic pouch because this is going to get absolutely ruined if you keep all your makeup in it. And if you're anything like me, as much as you try to keep your makeup like clean on the outside and nothing spill, something always goes wrong with that. So I wouldn't necessarily use this as a cosmetic pouch as such, but if you want to, you go nuts. Um, I just collect them. Like realistically, it could be a little clutch. I don't have that need for it. I just, I just like them. I collect things like used to collect troll dolls when I was younger and they're starting to make a comeback. <laughs> so that's my cosmetic pouch. The next one, the next two are actually twins. So I bought twins of something uh, and they are identical twins. So let's open this up. This was released and I got super excited about it. So it comes in this size box. It's from the men's collection, I believe. I believe that's how they're selling it. I don't particularly care where it comes from. I just wanted it and I'm running out of space to put things. So looks like this and if we open it up this is the new toiletry pouch I think it's called a toiletry pouch is it called a toiletry pouch uh toiletry b2 so it is a toiletry pouch now this is um it's not a replica. It's very similar to one that I have bought off Amazon that I traveled with last time. These have been really popular. This style of toiletry pouch has been really popular. It went TikTok viral. Everybody wanted one. I bought them on Amazon right before I went away last time. I bought one for Dale to take when we went away and I really love them. I've got two non-branded ones just from Amazon and I love them. I use them a lot. So when Louis Vuitton did a version, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll have that. Thanks. So if you open it up, the thing I love about this, this style the most is that when you pull it down, it sits flat, which I cannot tell you as somebody who has as much makeup as I do. I have a ridiculous amount of makeup. I have a whole TikTok account for my makeup obsession. So if you're interested, go find me on TikTok if you love makeup. So I love being able to see everything flat. I can like put all my blushes, all my powders, I can line them all up and then you just flip it up, do it up. When you open it again, it's all there again. I love these. I love the non-branded versions. Of course, I wanted the Louis Vuitton version. So it has a um, little pouch there, uh, sorry, a little pocket there. And then in the middle, 
there's another pocket. So that's generally where I put my liners, my lip liners and my eyeliners. And then everything else goes on the other side. And when you open it up, you get that. And yeah, it just zips up. I love it. I'm so excited that Louis Vuitton is doing this. Clearly Louis Vuitton saw this style go viral and went, we can do that. And they did. Uh, it's got the handle on the top there, you can see, uh, which tells you that it's made in Paris. And yeah, I'm really excited about this because I'm about to travel. I'm about to go to New York. So I'm like, well, the Amazon ones, they're getting turfed or they're give, probably going to be given to someone else. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. So on that note, because, because I have so much makeup and stuff when I travel, I'm insane. The amount of stuff I take when I travel, of course, I have to get, <laughs> oh, I'm an insane person. Of course, I got, ta-da, a second one. They did do this in the Eclipse, I want to say, like the men's Eclipse, black Eclipse, which is my son's um, monogram pattern, um, canvas, sorry, Louis Vuitton canvas. He has the Eclipse. So, yes, I understand. Stupid to buy two, but I have two already and I use both when I travel. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy two because generally speaking, one will hold my makeup and one will hold my hair care um, or the amount of makeup I have honestly there's a good chance I'll need them both for makeup this time but I did buy two because I'm an insane person so I have twins um, but I love this style I can't rave about how much I love it enough I know some people get that style and they don't really like it um, for their makeup but for me I found it really invaluable um, when we were traveling through uh, London and Paris uh, in September because I could just lay my makeup out and I could see everything because that's always my biggest gripe about um, luxury or any makeup pouch is everything gets shoved in and you go pull it all out to find what you need and then put it all back in. I do love my nieces. I do love my Fendi um, pouches. I love all of my pouches. They all serve different purposes. But for me, this for makeup was just a game changer because as soon as you lay it flat, you can see everything and you don't have to pull everything out. And then you literally just put it together and zip it up and you're good to go. So I really love this style. Okay. And the last thing I got comes in this big box. And this is literally just arrived yesterday. So um, I figured I'd just throw it in with this like I said, I just pulled a whole heap of things together and unboxed it all at once. So you don't have to sit through five separate unboxings. Uh, all right. So let's, oh, big ribbon, big ribbon. So let's take it off. And this is the style of box with the pull drawer. So that should tell you what's in it. And I know, I know, I said at the beginning of the year, it's going to be a very small shoe year. I'm not buying a lot of shoes. I lied. I didn't lie. I haven't bought as many shoes as I usually would have by this point, but yeah, it's still, it's still been a decent shoe year. I did sell a few in my vlog sale. Um, and I do have a few spare spots up there on my shoe racks. Um, but yeah, I'm, I just, I can't help it. I love shoes. Uh, so let's get these out. Put that down there. Uh, if you are interested in any of the shoes I sold in my vlog sale, there are still some available. I'll, log the, I'll um, link the vlog sale down below. And Connor and I actually have something special coming up. We're going to do a live sale, we think. Like um, the things that are left over, we might do a, a live and do a very, very good price for those people who want to participate in that live. So stay tuned for information on that. I've just realized that the Louis Vuitton is written in black on these, which is that normal? Maybe it is. I don't know why I didn't think it was black. Very strange. Anyway, I'm having a moment. Don't mind me. Uh, all right. So I ordered these and they have finally arrived and they are wedges. <laughs> so I love a wedge. I have a pair of Louis Vuitton wedges in a natural and white color. I don't do a lot of beige, but these are really handy in summer. I love wedges in summer. And I am going to New York soon. I don't know if these will come with me. It's a distinct possibility that they will. Um, so these are eight and a half centimeter um, heels, but because they're stacked on the front, I just find wedges so much easier to use. So you can see that they're the natural color there and they've got the um, brownie beige LV on them. And then they just do up around the ankle. They're gorgeous. They're very, so the, this bit, down the bottom 
is very similar to the current wedges I have. It's um, it's the top bit that's a different colour, which is what I wanted. I wanted a more natural colour for some of my summer dresses. So these are in a size 39. I am a 38 and a half true size, but for wedges and boots um, and generally joggers as well, I'll usually go with a 39. Uh, 38 and a half tends to be um, lower heels, um, flats, that kind of stuff. So I always say you really need to try shoes on. These I haven't tried on, but I'm confident they're gonna fit. So my other ones are also more rounded in the toe and these kind of have like a cutoff toe, but that'll work for me. But I just loved these wedges. I saw them and I then asked my sales associate Peter to track them down for me and he was finally able to order them. So, and if you're interested in following Peter, he's always linked in my description box down below. So these are my new shoes because you can never have enough shoes. <laughs> so there are all the bits and pieces that I have bought from Louis Vuitton lately. Um, I think that most of it has arrived in the last like three weeks. So this will all be current stock at Louis Vuitton if you are interested in any of these things. Um, what do you guys think of the new uh, makeup case? that is, has come out. Have you seen this before on Amazon or have you seen it like go Instagram or TikTok viral um, or have you bought it and hated it? Let me know what you think of this because I really love mine, um, but I'm aware that not everybody does. So you tell, you let me know what you think. Um, yeah, so that's everything. If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I upload videos, which is usually twice a week. I'll also throw out my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection and my day-to-day -day life. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.